The COVID-19 pandemic has affected many areas of the dental industry. As surgeries begin to reopen, we want to walk you through all the safety measures that should be followed under both normal circumstances and the additional measures now needed due to COVID-19. Firstly, before a patient arrives at the dental surgery, they should be triaged remotely and have an appointment in place. If a patient arrives without a pre-booked appointment or hasn't been triaged, a procedure must be in place for all staff and patients to follow. Any patients who are showing COVID symptoms should be referred to a designated dental facility with a dedicated COVID path and a well-ventilated room. It's important to remember that the virus spreads via three main types of transmission, contact, droplet and possibly airborne. So it's crucial that PPE is worn by all staff members when treating patients. Let's look at the PPE that should be used by dental staff. N95, P2 or FFP2 respirator masks that will protect against particles found in the air and should be worn when assessing or managing a COVID-19 confirmed case. If a respirator mask is not available, a surgical mask with a shield can be used. Goggles or face shields to prevent virus exposure. Long-sleeved, non-sterile, water-resistant gowns must be used to prevent body contamination. Gloves must be worn and extended to cover the wrist over the gown's cuffs. And importantly, patients must wear eye protection once in the dental chair. Let's rewind. We're going to take a look at the process you should follow for putting on and removing PPE. When putting on and removing the PPE, there are accepted sequences for how this should be conducted within a dentist surgery environment. The process of putting PPE on is called donning. Step 1. Perform hand hygiene by washing hands or using an alcohol-based hand rub. Step 2. Don the gown first. When using a gown with back closure, a second operator should assist in securing the back. Step 3. Apply the respirator, perform fit test and seal check to ensure the mask is secure and tight with a comfortable fit. Step 4. Eye protection must be worn. Use goggles or a face shield and ensure the elastic fit snug on the head. Step 5. Perform hand hygiene before putting on gloves. Finally, step 6. Don gloves and ensure they cover the wrist over the gown cuffs. When removing PPE, the process is called doffing. Step 1. Remove the outside of the glove with the opposite gloved hand and peel off. Keep hold of the removed glove in your gloved hand and slide your fingers off your ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist. Peel the glove off over the first glove and discard both gloves in a waste container. Make sure to clean hands before moving on to the next steps. Step 2. Remove the face shield and goggles. The ties or elastic used to secure the equipment to the head are considered safe and can be removed with bare hands. Place in designated receptacles for reprocessing or in a waste container. Step 3. Remove the protective clothing by unfastening and pulling away from neck and shoulders. Do not touch the front and sleeves. These are contaminated. Turn them inside out and fold or roll into a bundle to discard or reprocess. Step 4. Remember the front of the mask is contaminated. Hold by the ties or elastic to remove it, then discard it in the waste bin. Step 5. Perform hand hygiene. When wearing PPE, you must be aware of the key points to remember. PPE must be donned correctly before you enter the patient area and must remain in place and be worn correctly for the duration of work. No PPE should be adjusted during patient care and when removed it must be done slowly and the correct sequence that prevents self-contamination. Perform hand hygiene before donning and after removing gloves. You must ensure that waste management is performed safely and is in accordance with local regulations. 
Thank you for listening and following the steps to make your dental surgery as safe as possible. Please get in touch with us for more information.